Alright, what's going on guys? So, uh, coming at you with a review. I think it's the first one on YouTube so far of the uh, Cold Steel Axe Head Walking Stick. Axe Head Cane, excuse me. Uh, it's a great stick. Um, right off the bat, uh, oh wait, specifications are, I think it's about like 38, uh, 38 inches or so. It's pretty tall it's for people at our average height, maybe about 5'8", five, 5'9". Uh, there is no specification on the, uh, the tip on Cold Steel's website. Uh, as I mentioned in my preview video, I, I really had to jam on a 1 and 1 8 uh, size uh, rubber tip. If there's a size bigger than that, I would advise you to use that instead. So, um, it's obviously all made out of polypropylene. Let me get up here real quick, just give you a, a bottom to top view got four little uh, nodules here I'm, I'm guessing that's for uh, you know for a good purchase if you decided if you decide to swing with it uh, you know with the, the bottom side uh, facing somebody and it's uh, it's got a tech it's textured from uh, the tip all the way to the uh, the top now right off the bat you look at it and it kind of looks like a hatchet you know axe head is to me it's a bit of a misnomer. this looks more like a hatchet it's got two little uh, spiky points on in this area right here and in this area but you know I mean it, it can't really uh, like you can touch it rub your skin on it it won't do anything I think the only time it might really do some damage is if you uh, you know if you actually if you swing this with this with this tip facing somebody, it's uh, more than likely going to penetrate uh, that person. If, if it hits something solid, it's going to break it. If it hits something fleshy, it's probably going to go through. Uh, same thing here. If you uh, you know if you uh, were to trap a, a limb or the neck, if you the neck, the leg. Uh, anything like that it's just more than likely if you do with enough force this is going to go through some you might want to consider uh, right off the bat i love this stick it is um it's sturdy but it's a lot lighter than uh cold steel's other polypropylene walking sticks right off the bat it's not as top heavy it's uh it's a lot more wieldy i i used to be partial to the irish blackthorn walking stick now uh you know this one actually may end up very well being my new favorite uh, it really is uh, built with a perfect uh, it's perfect for self-defense applications so um, let me go ahead and uh, just do a smash test here real quick I'm gonna do it with all sides so first with the, uh, the blunt side that okay um, and I seem to not have much uh, luck with, with their sticks lately let me get up here real quick really sucks that this is gonna be a pretty much a fail video as you could see the uh, the bottom part of the stick uh, that little tip that I was just telling you about actually broke off let me see if I could get on there real quick I'm not going to, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe it is a fail. It really depends on what you guys think. I mean, if I just sand it down, it might not make much of a difference. Uh, so let me go ahead and try the other side here. And let me go ahead and... Uh, Try the opposite side. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I'm probably going to end up just filing this down right here. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, this thing's supposed to be unbreakable, but I just lost a. Let me get up here one more time to show you. Just lost an entire little uh, chip right here, which is. Uh, which is a real shame, but uh, I do know that there was a 
there was a video of a gentleman who uh, who had a, a United Cutlery uh, um, a United Cutlery cane. He actually uh, it had a sharp tip as well, but he filed it down. I guess if I did that, no one would probably really be able to tell. But uh, I mean, the rest of the stick held, so I guess I can't complain too much. But uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say about that. Questions or comments, you all do know the drill. Peace out, fellas.